if you're going to be just a price action trader, you can trade without a bias, yes. But my question has always been, if you can discern a bias, why would you not want to trade only in that bias and just filter out all those other trades? Um, it just gives you a lot more confidence, especially if you're a developing trader. Now, me personally, you know, with more than two decades of trading experience, I don't fear any loss because I know I have the, the, the skill sets that will allow me to come back from whatever that loss or series of losses would be and then move to a new equity high or, you know, uh, you know objective for the week or month or whatever it is that I'd be trading in. If you're a new developing trader, you're not going to have that confidence level. In fact, what will happen is, is it'll be deflating for you. You'll take a loss and you'll walk away from the market and walk away from my materials and walk away from Forex thinking it's no one's making money and therefore you know, you've wasted your time. I don't want you to feel that way. And I have felt that way in the past before with commodities. Okay, And I know what that feels like. It's very painful. It's hurtful. And if you have let someone else know that you're doing it and you're not making money okay, or finding success in it, they will add to that pain okay and give you every reason why you're wasting your time and that you shouldn't be doing it I can tell you with experience do not listen to these individuals okay and stick to what you started this for you wanted to do this for a reason whatever that reason was that got you into this industry don't give up on it stick to it don't let a series of losses, don't let a period of drawdown, don't let a period of uncertainty in your, in your price action study, don't let me, uh, you know, holding you up with watching a, a new installment in a video series, you know, drive you nuts, okay? This is all part of the development. You know, you, you have to get beyond all those outward things that are always going to be there. If it's not me holding you up with a video series uh, installment, if it's not the period of market action that you're in, if it's not the, the real life events that come into your uh, you know, your life, okay, it's going to be something else. There's always going to be something that's going to be a perfect opportunity to blame why this isn't the right thing for you to be doing. And that's what weak-minded traders do. And they leave thinking that this is not working for anyone else. So, that, so therefore, everyone else that's saying they're making money is full of bull spit. And I can tell you that it's a normal thinking process, normal thought process that uh, traders go through. I'm telling you, if you ask anyone that's been doing this for any length of time, they have all at least one time felt that way. Okay? So don't let the idea of uh, uncertainty or difficulty or growing pains, because that's what it is, guys. It's growing pains. You're going to go through period. You're going to go through periods that make you feel as if that you, you know, you're wasting your time. This is something that you shouldn't be doing. That you know you're wasting money. You know your your wife was right. Your husband was right. You know, your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever it is. You know your boss laughed and said you'll never leave it. Uh, leave leave the place that you work at. You'll still be there five years from now doing this stuff, not trading, but doing whatever you're doing for your job. That's uh, you know don't don't buy into that. Okay. Understand this. You're learning one of the highest forms of speculation there is. Did you really expect it to be easy? Think about that. We're in here trading in the same realm as the banks do. They're not in the business of saying, okay, well, look, you know, Michael seems like a pretty nice guy. He makes these free videos. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let him win on all these trades because, you know, he's just a good guy. That's not how it works, man. Believe me, I have to fight, claw, and, and just war with the price action just like anyone else does. Okay? It's the same thought process goes through my mind, but I have the time behind me to know that if I get, you know, basically kicked in the balls, I know I'm going to be able to shake it off and come back and find something else to you know, recoup that money. A new trader doesn't have that. They don't have that. The only thing they know is, wow, I just, I just took a loss. That hurt. That hurt my ego. That hurt my pride. That hurt my bank account. And then all we start thinking, well, what if this happens three more times? Well, what happens if it happens ten more times? What if I'm not really right to do this? This is something I shouldn't be doing. Boom, what are you doing? You got Now you have toxic thinking. Okay? And that's going to plague your performance. And it's going to make you get out of trade as soon as you get a little bit of a profit. Because you're going to think, well, I don't want this to go back to the way it was when I took a loss.
That's all for today, folks. Thank you for watching ICT Motivation. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below to let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content and I'll see you in the next video.